Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sudish and I'm your trainer for this AI 900, which is Microsoft Azure AI Fundamental Certification Examination. In this video, we're going to learn about computer vision in Azure. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure provides a set of cognitive services that encapsulate common AI workloads, including computer vision tasks. To use cognitive services, you must provision a resource in an Azure subscription. This can be a standalone or service specific request, for example, a computer vision resource or general cognitive services resource. Using a standalone service specific resource enable you to manage cost and access to that service independently of other services you may be using. While a general cognitive services resource enable you to combine all of your AI service in a single Azure resource for centralized management. Regardless of your type of resource you use, client application will consume the service it provides by connecting to REST endpoints using resource specific key for authentication. The computer vision cognitive service provides a pre-trained computer vision model that can be used to analyze images. The first step towards using the computer vision service is to create a resource for it in your Azure subscription. You can either use a computer vision or cognitive services. So let me show you how to do that first. So I'm on my Azure portal right now. I'm going to go to all services and this time I'm going to search for Cognitive services. So I don't have any cognitive services. I'm going to click on create a cognitive services. This takes me to the cognitive services. So now I have an ability to create either a computer vision. So here I can search for computer vision or cognitive services. So this computer vision is a specific resource for computer vision service. We can use this resource type if you don't intend to use any other cognitive services or if you just want to track utilization and cost of your computer vision resources separately. Another one is cognitive services. I'm going to go back. So this time I've searched for cognitive services. A general cognitive service resource that include computer vision along with many other cognitive services such as text analysis, translated test and others. You can use this resource type if you plan to use multiple cognitive services and want to simplify administration and development. Whichever type of resource, so whichever type of resource you choose to create, it will provide two pieces of information that you will need to use it. Basically, it asks you for a key and the endpoint. A key is that is used to authenticate client application and an endpoint that provides the HTTP address at which your resources can be accessed. Let's understand the training models with the custom vision service. The custom vision cognitive service enable you to train a custom model for either image classification or object detection. Image classification is a machine learning technique in which the object being classified is an image, such as a photograph. As with any form of classification, creating an image classification solution involves training a model using a set of existing data for which the class is already known. In this case, the existing data consists of a set of categorized images, which you must upload to the custom vision service and tag with appropriate class labels. After training the model, you can publish it as a service for application to use. The next one is object detection. Object detection is a form of machine learning based computer vision in which a model is trained to recognize individual type of object in an image and to identify their location in the image. Creating an object detection solution with custom vision consists of three main tasks. First, you must use upload and tag images. Then you can train the model. And finally, you must publish the model so that client application can use it to locate object in images. 
Creating an image classification or object detection solution with custom vision requires a resource in your Azure subscription. You need two types of resources, a custom vision and a cognitive services. A custom vision is a dedicated resource for custom vision service, which can be either training or a prediction resource. And the previous example, the cognitive service is a general cognitive service resource that include custom vision along with many other cognitive services. You can use this type of resource for training, prediction or both. So what is model training? To train a custom vision model, you must upload images to your training resource and label them with the appropriate class labels or object boundary boxes. Then you must train the model and evaluate the training results. You can perform this task in the custom vision portal or if you have the necessary coding experience, you can use one of the custom vision service programming language SDKs. Let's understand how you can analyze faces with the face service. Face detection and analysis is an area of artificial intelligence in which we use algorithms to locate and analyze human faces in images or video content. The first one is face detection. The face detection involves identifying regions of an image that contain human face. Typically, by returning bounding box, coordinate that from a rectangle around the face. Like what I have shown in this image. The next one is facial analysis. Moving beyond simple face detection, some algorithms can also return other information such as facial landmark, nose, eyes, eyebrows, lips, and others. These facial landmarks can be used as feature with which to train a machine learning model from which you can infer information about a person, such as their age or perceived emotional state. Like what I have mentioned in this image, the age is 25, anger zero, that means that maybe she's not angry, and happiness, there is a value of 1.0. That means she is maybe happy. The next one is facial recognition. A further application of facial analysis is to train a machine learning model to identify known individuals from their facial features. This usage is more generally known as facial recognition and involves using multiple images of each person you want to recognize to train a model so that it can detect those individuals in new images on which it wasn't trained. The next capability is reading text with computer vision service. The ability for computer systems to process written or printed text is an area of artificial intelligence. You need computer vision capabilities to read the text and then need natural language processing capabilities to make sense of it. The basic foundation of processing printed text is optical character recognition or OCR, in which a model can be trained to recognize individual shapes as letters, numerals, punctuations, or other elements of text. Much of the early work on implementing this kind of capability was performed by postal services to support automatic sorting of mail based on postal codes. Since then, the state of the art of reading text has moved on. And it is now possible to build models that can detect printed or handwritten text in an image and read it line by line or even word by word. So what are the use cases of OCR? You can use OCR for note taking, digitizing forms such as medical records or historical documents, scanning printed or handwritten checks for bank deposit, etc. The next one is analyzing forms with form recognizer service. A common problem in many organizations is the need to process receipt or invoice data. For example, a company might require expense claims to be submitted electronically with scanned receipts. It's relatively easy to scan receipts to create digital images or PDF documents. 
and it's possible to use optical character recognition or OCR technologies to extract the text contents from the digitized documents. However, typically someone still needs to review the extracted text to make sense of the information it contains. Increasingly, organizations with large volume of receipts and invoices to process are looking for artificial intelligence solution that can not only extract the text data from the receipts, but also intelligently interpret the information they contain. So that concludes module three. In the next video, we're gonna start a brand new module called Natural Language Processing or NLP. And the first lesson is Introduction to NLP. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.